Looking to start the new year with a new best friend? Well, that shelter is full of sweet, loving pups, and we've got the tips you need to pick the perfect one for you. Pet Adoption 101 is on the to-do list. Adopting a dog can be a great addition to your family, but you want to be prepared. Michael Moorfield, the communications director at the Arizona Animal Welfare League, has a list of things to do before picking out the perfect pooch. For starters, make a list of expenses for everything you can think of that will affect your pup. They're the obvious cost that everybody thinks of when they own a dog, and that's a couple extra toys, and quality dog food can cost $30 to $60 a bag, and, but you also want to make sure you're putting aside money for medical fees, emergency medical situations. You also might want to be prepared for when Fido mistakes your stuff for his chew toys. Possibly an extra pair of shoes every once in a while, maybe an extra piece of furniture. Once you've estimated these costs, the next thing you want to do is decide the best dog for your lifestyle. If you're an active person, there's probably a couple great breeds for you that fit that lifestyle. Or maybe you just like to watch TV and relax, so adopting a bigger, mellow breed like a Great Dane or Greyhound is a better fit. I always say that seniors are really great first pets because they kind of have a good grasp on things, their energy level's a little bit mellowed out. Michael says discuss your preferences and lifestyle with the staff at the shelter to get their advice. Having that conversation with yourself and realizing what am I like now, what I'm going to be like in five years, what I'm going to be like in maybe 15 years when they're a senior dog. It doesn't have to factor into not adopting, it just means that you get to choose a dog that really fits that personality. When you think you're ready, adopting from a shelter has a lot of benefits. There's a real transparency about working with a rescue or a shelter. You get to spend time with the animal. They can have a vet on site. They have copies of all the records. All this costs around $500 or less. Shelter dogs have also been spayed or neutered, vaccinated, and microchipped. Dogs bought from breeders or online often haven't. And you may have to invest thousands of dollars into medical costs just to get them to the level that a dog would be at if you just adopted it from a shelter. In the end, Michael says you have to remember that your life is their life and you need to make sure that you're ready for that responsibility and commitment for 10 to 15 years. Barking up the right tree with pet adoption tips on the to-do list.